Steve, you said, just a minute to step back and do a little piece of business, and he said he'd be right back. So we'll go ahead and uh, come back together and get started. Uh, as I said earlier, we've got the tax commission, Rodney King here, his assistant, Lucinda Depp. Lucinda, what is your title? Chief Deputy Tax Chief Deputy Tax Okay. I've got that. <laughs> um, welcome to both of you. Um, we, we appreciate you taking time out of your schedule to come. And certainly uh, in the past we have had previous tax commissioners that would come down during the retreat or wherever the retreat was. Um, but we just felt like that this one was probably more important because you are a new, newly elected tax commissioner. And I uh, just kind of wanted to get your perspective where your office was at since you've taken office January the 1st and how, in your opinion, how things are going and your, you know, your, your staff, your transition, you might say, and all of that sort of thing. Yes, sir. Uh, I have been the tax commissioner for approximately six weeks now. Uh, I, went to, I went to school uh, last week, school slash meeting last uh, Wednesday in Tiffany. And I guess it was probably about 30 or 50 tax commissioners there. Chair Alexander, the tax commissioner, tipped me. He said, I'd like for each of you to stand up and introduce yourselves. He said, Rodney, we're going to start off with you. So, so I stood up. <laughs> and I stood up. I introduced myself. I told the folks that I've been a tax commissioner for the last time for five weeks now. And I said, y'all, I love it. I love my job. I said, I love it. I love my job. I love my job. I said, I maybe said a little bit louder because I was a little bit excited. And it was the larger room. But I do, y'all, I love it. And I, and I, I enjoy the job. I enjoy everything I'm doing there, except for one thing I we had to do Tuesday. Uh, Lucinda and the entire staff, they are just phenomenal. It's unbelievable how good the staff is. They all work with me great. They have things ready before I even ask them to do things. If I ask them to do something, they do it with the great utmost respect. I have a, a, a great staff. Uh, Lucinda and I <clears throat> had a, a discussion uh, about one of the employees. We found that there was something she should not have been doing. And uh, unfortunately, we had to terminate her. She, she did it not once, not twice, not three times, but eight times. And seven times was on Felicia's watch, and once on my watch. And whenever we found it, we, she had to go. And uh, uh, with her personality, we didn't really know how she was going to take it, but she, she took it real good. She's been to county for eight years. But it's just something you know we can do. But that's the only bad incident. The bad thing we've had to happen is the collection has come along real good, 91.6% on real property. Of course, the mobile home in tax that hadn't started really coming in yet. Uh, and that all 
supports what I always have said about Lowndes County employees. It doesn't matter which office you're in. They all seem to have that heart to serve and that willingness to do their job and try to make sure that those things are taken care of. And certainly from our standpoint, we depend on the tax commissioner's office primarily for tax, I mean, for uh, revenue flow. You know, for cash flow, that's really what it boils down to. So uh, it, it's good to, to hear that, that, that you, you have that good transition, that good working relationship now with what would be your new staff, but certainly a seasoned staff that's at the tax commissioner's office that was there. And so uh, as far as uh, us getting the information that we need on the timely manner that we need and when we normally have to have it uh, on our schedule, then we don't see any reason why that won't continue to take place. So we appreciate that. I, I will say this. I know from just from personal experience, I was in your office the other day. I had a tag issue that I needed to get resolved. Um, and I came in there and it was just like, you know, I'm thinking, oh man, this is going to be a nightmare. I'm, I'm asking you to do something here that's going to tie me up for an hour or something. But, but I have to go do it. You know? and, and I go in that office and it was just bang, bang, bang. You have to come here. We can take care of you right here. And it was done. And it was quick. And it was painless. And I was out. Um, and so, again, the office works very, very efficiently, especially the front end office up there. That's the part that most that citizens see. They see the front end. Uh, hire the, the county commissioners and the staff. We have to re we have to rely a lot on the back end to make sure that the information that we get is uh, is on a, in a timely manner. So it's good to hear that that relationship is working well and that transition has done has been very good. I know that's what you told me when I was in your office the last time. Um, the same thing. So I appreciate that very much. Let me say one more yes, thing. Yes, sir. Um, um, Mrs. Parker has been there. A long time in Detroit. I'm 27, 28 years old. It's, it's uh, 30 years. She's been there a long time. She's out of out sick this, this week with seniors. And I, I said to, uh, to, to Lucinda, I said, I hope she's not stressed at work because I have not made up on it. You know? mm -hmm. I hope she's not, not over stressed at work.
very, very smooth. Thank you. Thank you very much. I commend you for that. Would y'all feel bad at us if we leave now? And the reason, <laughs> no, 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 the reason I say that, we are, we are short five people. Absolutely. <laughs> and we, we're fixing to replace two. <laughs> <laughs> okay.